Morning everybody. We're starting our day here in Rothsay, Minnesota, right where we left off yesterday. It's gonna be a good day. I've got probably about five hours of driving to my first drop. So let's get out there. I'm gonna check the oil, make sure old blue is all ready to go, and let's hit the road. All my own stunts. No stunt doubles on this vlog. Okay, I just moved up here just a little bit. You caught me being a little lazy. Moved up so I wouldn't have to walk so far to go into the truck stop. Okay, Trucker Josh isn't perfect. Okay, I'm getting old. <laughs> Maybe, probably not. I'm I'm turning 35 soon. Hey, to some people, that's old. I know, I'm not old. I'm not old. I'm lazy, you caught me. I started filming and I'm like, how am I gonna explain this? I'm starting my day a lot closer to the building than I, <laughs> and you saw me. Oh well, now you know, sometimes, not every time, sometimes. I always say it's nice to, you know, walk from the back, walk into the truck stop, but uh, no one can do everything perfect, right? You want me to stop? I'll stop. How was that? That was a good stop. That was a good stop. Solid. 100%. Let's get on the highway. Towards Fergus Falls, we're going to get on to Interstate 94 eastbound. Get this show on the road. It's a beautiful day for a drive out here.
made it. Now we gotta figure out which one is theirs. Make sure I delivered the correct one here, and uh, they're both identical, but the serial numbers are different. So before I go in and uh, announce my arrival to them, I wanna be able to tell them when they come out exactly what side of the truck they'll be unloading to find the serial number on these. They're both FD-235s. So I'll climb up there, figure that out. Then I'll go let them know I'm here. And then they'll tell me where they want me, probably a little bit up over there that way, I'm thinking. And then we'll get this unloaded. And unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to get the second one unloaded today yet. So that'll be unloaded tomorrow morning, first thing. And then we've got about an hour to our reload. And they're expecting me there like you know, around 10 a.m. tomorrow to reload. It's like a big tank that I'm picking up, I think. Big tank, a little wide. This one's going to the next place. He's over there putting the forks onto his front end loader. This one on this side is theirs. So he's gonna pull this one off first. See his forks for his forklift can go right in there. It's built for it. It's all ready for him to take off. And then I'm gonna ask him a small favor when he's done. I'm gonna ask him to center this one or as much as he can center this other one and that one's gonna take me uh, out to Casson, Minnesota and deliver this one first thing tomorrow morning they open 8 a.m. I was kind of hoping they'd be open earlier than that but it is what it is I'll have everything ready for them first thing so I should be out of there by 8:30 for sure and then like I said hour and 15 minutes hour and a half to my reload we'll chain that thing down and got a crane appointment the following following day uh, back in Manitoba near Bozicher. He's gonna slowly take that thing off. All right, you're good to go down. That thing weighs about 10,800 pounds. So he's gonna go and pop that down wherever he needs it. And then he's gonna center this one for me a little bit better. And I'll chain this one back down. And we'll be done, sign some paperwork. And let old blue sing again. Hope he's got enough room to turn around here. I can move if he needs me to. Just staying clear of everything here. There we go. He's got it. They do this all the time. He's got a low tire on his front left side there. That's why it's a little bit wobbly. These are really nice loads to have. They're nice light, but they can act like a real parachute behind your truck or a sail if you wanna. I think a parachute would be a better explanation for it. They catch a lot of wind. There we go. Got this one centered on here, chained down. These two chains in the back, holding it from going side to side and also from going back. Got some straps just for some added support. Same thing up here, but the opposite. Another strap for added support and two chains here holding it from going side to side and holding it from going that way so four chains wrapping it in a nice tight little snug hug and the two straps for uh, just a little bit of stability to stop the vibrations on these ends 
All right, we were here, it looks like less than an hour. You have five hours oh, nope. and 55 minutes of remaining drive time. Just over an hour, hour and nine minutes. Muddy, muddy parking lot. I don't want my pedals getting all muddy. Ugh, we will keep the outside shoes with the outside shoes. Let's jack it away and be on our way. Been reading lots of children's books at home. For the baby, of course. Also a little bit for myself. I like the rhyming ones, the ones that rhyme. I think nursery rhymes and children's stories should rhyme. The ones that don't rhyme is kind of like, huh? Huh. Not as good, you know? Not as good. You gotta make it rhyme, you gotta make it fun for the kids and for the dads. Okay, I'm just gonna put this where it belongs before I get moving. I won't be out of here. I think they're closing up here right away. I was kind of hoping that my next delivery would be open later, but they're already closed. So first 10 tomorrow morning then, eh? First 10 tomorrow morning. Oh, I need to order a new seat cover already. This one's all torn up. Oh, they got me locked in here. I guess I can back out. Yeah, I can back out of here. No problem. Come on, old blue. Let's show them what we can do. Impressing them with rhymes. All the time. <laughs> I can't think of rhymes that fast. I'd be a terrible freestyle rapper. All right, I'm gonna back out of here. They're a little busy with their equipment there. No problemo. I will just back out. Oh, so be back there. Watch that uh, auger that's popping out there. Yeah. Make sure we don't back into that with my stacks or something. Around the auger. right beside us just a second bring our truck around it while moving our trailer to the left to go around that corner actually there's a driveway right over there let's back her down that driveway that makes sense there it is see we missed it watch all these hitches back into that red trailer over there no problem, look at this. See, I'm gonna go right into that driveway back there. And then out the driveway this way. See that, around that red trailer there. I'm way too nice. Why did I wait for that traffic? Why am I still waiting? Way too nice, I should've gone. Should've gone. Now I gotta wait for this traffic too? 
I had a wide open space, Trucker Josh, why didn't you go? Oh, because he's way too nice, that's why. Why am I so nice? I should have gone in front of you. Now I gotta wait for this parade. Look at this. And he was turning anyway. Wouldn't even have bothered him if I turned in front of him. Okay, we got this little parade going past here. This car right here, and then we're going. I think this guy's gonna make a U-turn though. Nope, I've been waiting longer than you, bud. I've been waiting longer than you. Yeah, he's making a U-turn. We can both get what we want, man, at the same time. Thank you. Look at that, and we're both happy. So we're gonna be staying at the Quick Trip in Casson, Minnesota. Hopefully we can get a parking spot there. Looks like they got about 10 parking spots. Maybe they'll even have showers there. That'd be nice. Quick Trip is a, it's a brand of truck stop. Watching that header in my mirror for the first few miles. Not expecting it to go anywhere, but I like to keep my eye on it anyways. Looks like it's gonna be good. Grab some fuel here and grab the last parking spot. Cha-ching. Now I'm just getting comfortable back here. Get my computer going, gonna work on some videos. I have about 13 hours before I have to be awake. And then uh, we'll del deliver this, well 13 hours before I have to deliver. And then we'll deliver this header, head on up the road to a town called New Prague, Minnesota. It's an hour and 15 minutes. Load up a big, what looks like it's going to be like a big cylinder type thing. I'm not too sure. We'll figure out what it'll be. We'll tie it down, chain it down, whatever we got to do to secure it. And then I have to deliver that to, like I said, close to Bozizer. I believe that's where it is. It's a town called Garson. I think that's close to Bozizer, Manitoba. Anyway, let's go back up to Manitoba. There's an appointment there uh, for a crane to unload it the following day. And we'll see what we got up after that. But... Time is ticking, getting closer and closer to the big day. Thanks for hanging out with me today, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.